What's up guys, guys here. And just you guys. So today we decided to bring you a video on my IS300. I wanted to go ahead and compression test it and test out the ignition coils and check out the spark plugs because um, I ended up putting a throttle body from the automatic IS300 because I ended up uh, fucking with the, or messing with the throttle body on the on mine and ended up fucking messing up with the timing and I didn't have the, the scanner to be able to plug it in and be able to read the uh, timing to adjust it. So if I had a spare one laying um, around, I was just going to swap it into that. So I ended up doing that. And then I went for a drive and I went like maybe 10 miles out and then it started breaking up. So I'm thinking it's gonna be the ignition coils. So today we're gonna test out the ignition coils, be able to check out the spark plugs and then uh, see where's the problem. I ordered ignition coils, uh, they just haven't arrived. So if it is the ignition coil, then okay, I find my issue. But then if it's not the spark plugs, I don't know, you guys will see. Well, I'll turn it on, you'll be able to hear. Mm, yeah, it breaks maybe. up when you give it throttle. but you can really tell when you first Hopefully give it gas no you can hear it you can hear, yeah. yeah but you can tell at the very beginning uh it's breaking up so hopefully it's just a misfire maybe the, even the spark plugs are the issue but coil packs are but like the culprit also if i can add um when it is on cold start it has a hard time really finding its idle Get it to crank. Like one, it topped out at like 160. So far they've all been looking like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, 165. Mm-hmm. Right. looking good. Yeah, compared to that other piece of shit that we have. <laughs> that piece of shit that we fucking one for every 15.
the red 150. guys so as you guys can see the car is kind of like halfway put together so after the compression test we came to the conclusion that the motor is not hurt uh, the dry readings were about 150 to 160 between all the cylinders I think the max one uh, that one cylinder had was like 165 but that means it's pretty good uh, the camera's kind of dying so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick little uh, wrap up until we uh, do another little update because we decided um, since I did get some goodies and the coilovers I did get were just junk, not junk, but they're just regular the bases, ones. original, yeah. Uh, I did order coilovers, so I guess we're just gonna slam the coilovers that are on this and just see how it looks. Just for the just for gist, yeah, goodies. like I said, I did get the ignition coils, so that, that way we're just gonna leave it open and then when they do arrive, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the ignition coils. And I mean, the motor so far so good, so hopefully it's just ignition coils and you heard the startup, it fixes it. So I guess in the next video we're gonna post, we'll get an update as to probably hopefully the coilovers are in and the ignition coils. But for this video, it's just taking them off, compression testing, reading that. And then and we're gonna then slam it. We're now. gonna slam it, I guess, just to give you, just to show us, I guess, what it, what it'll do and just see ahead. how low it goes. Exactly. Just, just for shit to giggles. <laughs> True to see how low it's gonna get on this side. This is the only side we've lowered, by the way. And then we lowered it pretty much to the bottom, one and a half spin from from the very bottom. So the very it, bottom, yeah. So it's like slammed, pretty much. It's pretty much there. We just want to leave a, a few extra threads in there just to keep it, I right guess, down. safe. But going down. Wow, that is not as low as I thought it would be. What is up, guys? So, conclusion, the motor is good, as Jesse mentioned. Motor is good, which is good, so hopefully the ignition course fix it. Um, we slammed it, but it really didn't. The car was already kind of slammed. It was already kind of slammed. It really didn't make a difference, but you can you can tell it's a slight difference. So let me go ahead and show you. This is kind of pretty much maxed out on just the TN, uh, what is this, the TN uh, Street Basis Coilovers? I think yeah. that's what it is, yeah. So I don't know, we should have done it before and after, but it is uh, lower. If you can tell, here, this is... This is uh, the chancla fitment. The chancla fitment, look. It won't, it go won't even go in. It barely. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, let's try the rear. Eh, about the same. And if you couldn't already tell, the bumper is missing. I had a little incident, I wasn't paying attention. And I, back to the tree, and I kind of fucked it up somewhere right here so i just decided to take off the whole bumper because it was broken and then right now i just took off the crash bar in the back i think i might just get the chassis mount wing might as well at this point but now probably i'll just get another bumper and uh go from there so right now it'll just be bumperless overall just gonna wait for the ignition cores to come in and uh yeah we'll put it back together and then we'll update you guys back to see if it fixed the issue and then we'll go from there. All right guys, well, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.